Hey there, another, another edition of G-Rock Rising. My name is Erin Villa, and with us today, Anthony Fiumano. And when you're playing with your full band, it's Anthony Fiumano and the Medicine Chest. Many people probably have seen you playing around because you're playing all kinds of parts of the state. You have New Brunswick, you have Asbury Park under your belt, and different awards because of it in past nominations. Yeah. So we're glad to have you in today, Anthony. Thanks for having me. Full-length album came out this summer. Yes. Name is? Uh, it's called When Strangers Say Hello. And people can get it pretty much everywhere they can see you and they can also get it online, right? Right, yeah, you can get it at the shows, of course, and uh, it's available on cdbaby.com and uh, also on digstation.com for people that want to uh, download it digitally. So now you're a part of our alternative rock scene that's on the, I want to say the folkier side, for lack of a better mm -hmm. word. I'm a big fan of kind of rootsy things. I'm a very eclectic fan myself anyway. Is it something, did you find your sound early in your career as a music fan or was it something that you kind of have developed over the years as a mixture of both? Yeah, um, it, it kind of developed. Um, I started out as, as a rock fan and uh, listening to older rock music kind of brought me back into older folk music and blues and mm -hmm. um, just uh, naturally that was what came out. Um, just more of a more of a folk sound, um, right. just the way I play and the sing. it. roots your edge. I find a lot of bands that we have, not only here for G-Rock Rising, but just the bands that we're fans of at G-Rock have either that kind of almost timelessness to them as a rock band, and they're newer, and so that makes them the alternative, or, I mean, and then you have obviously the people who do the more indie thing with the electronic stuff and everything, yeah. versus the, of the timeless brand in that sense, <laughs> where it's, it's your vocals and your songs and your lyrics yeah, and things yeah. like that. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of uh, flashy things going on. <laughs> um, it's the solid, it's the solid yeah. part of it that that's really draws people to your music. You have a lot of gigs that I want to cram in here, but while we talk to you before we let you play a couple songs for okay. us. So something you have coming up, you're playing in Delaware. Yes. It's a music festival, right? Yeah, we're actually uh, getting ready to head down there tomorrow morning. Um, I'm playing tomorrow night with uh, the Medicine Chest mm -hmm. at the Rusty Rudder. It's for a Dewey Beach Music Conference. Okay. Um, they had a, an Americana Fest down there last year that I played. I think it was last October, but uh, this is kind of the main one. They, they invited us down, and I'll be also playing um, a couple acoustic shows by myself on Friday and on Saturday at, at the Rusty Rudder and at McShades. As a well. big full schedule, it seemed like down three there. days in a row. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah. Now this is—is is this like a for people who aren't familiar with the conference? Is this for fans and people on this side of the business, or is it a mixture? Or? It's for both. Yeah, I, you know, it's open to the public. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a free. It's free to get into the public and. Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of industry people or you know, we're invited down, they're gonna have a lot of panels and stuff like that. So uh it should be a pretty full three days. Music intensive for yeah, people. Very. And obviously we have a lot of people who like that kind of thing. So yeah. it fits right in. Wanted to mention also you're doing a showcase at CMJ in New York City. We also had uh, recently a different G-Rock Rising band that came in and it's always nice to see the artists that we're pulling in recognized to be able to be included in something like that. College Music Journal, I know as a college grad myself who did the, the CMJ reporting thing. It's very cool to think that you playing there and then years from now people can say they saw Anthony Fiumano <laughs> when he was playing at the showcase. So is this your first chance to do that as well? Yeah, yeah. So this is a uh, it's pretty recent <laughs> development. Uh, we just found out this week. Uh, they, they, they invited us. Uh, we're going to be playing at uh, Club Rehab on uh, October 23rd. So look for that date, and obviously look for, if you can't get out to it, any kind of uh, wrap-up and info on that. Yeah. Another big show we want to mention before we let you play, you're doing a big Halloween show at Court Tavern in New Brunswick, one yes. of the last bastions of uh, original music here in New Jersey, a great venue. And it seems like it's going to be a pretty special night, different things to look for, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's in the process of taking shape right now, um, spiraling throws it every year. Um, all the bands dress up as uh, a popular band and play all their songs for the night. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we were actually part of it last year as well. We, we played, uh, we did R.E.M. last year. Oh, wow. That's and cool. uh, this year we're going to stretch a little further even and we're, uh, we're going <laughs> to do the, uh, the Killers this year. So. Now that's an interesting pick. I want to ask you just really quickly. Obviously R.E.M. being an alternative giant and who's been on the scene yeah. and the Killers have taken the scene by storm. So you really, was that your own choice as a band to kind of go from the, the older end of the spectrum and do something up like yeah. that we were on the scene. Yeah, I mean, um, it would have been very easy for us to get up there and do Neil Young or do Credence. Uh, we were thinking about doing something like that, mm -hmm. but um, it's more fun, I think, to yeah. kind of push yourself. You know, we don't use synthesizers, we don't use anything like that with our music, so. 
or try it. It'll be a really interesting take. Yeah. I have yeah. a feeling it'll be a lot of fun to go see. You should definitely check yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's a great show. <laughs> I've been to the last, last couple of years. It's always So it's right on Halloween. Last. And it's on Halloween so this year. So it's you guys as the killers and then plenty of other fun things to yep. see, I'm sure, for the whole night. Okay? Absolutely. Full evening. So if you don't have Halloween plans, this might be your, your thing, is what I'm thinking. The name of the CD again is When Strangers Say Hello. We've been talking with Anthony Fiamano. We want to thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Anthony. for having me. He's going to do a couple songs on G Rock Rising.